Shalom everyone and thank you for joining me on today's rosary prayers. It's already on Saturday. Uh, being on a Saturday, it's 27th of January. We are praying with the joyful mystery, the divine mercy, and those in the mission to read the whole Bible. We are going on with the book of First King, chapter 13. Be blessed for coming and let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we do come in your presence this wonderful Saturday. We do invite your presence with Jesus, Mary, and and Joseph, and with your Holy Spirit. And we invite with our guardian angels and with all the holy angels and saints as you join us on today's rosary prayers and Bible studies, for we cannot do this by ourselves. Today, in a special way, we are praying for all the prisoners who are serving, men and women who are serving jail terms in prisons in countries all over the world. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done and what I fail to do. Through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was called conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on other cities done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, this wonderful Saturday, we bring into your hands the Rosary of the Joyful Mystery, the Divine Masses, as we pray for all the men and women who are serving jail terms at prisons in countries all over the world. And we ask of you, may you bring them total mental, physical, and spiritual health. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to their far death. Amen. We pray for the years, the month, and the days that they have lived in those prisons, and they are yet to stay there until they are done with their terms. All those times they are there. May you bring them total conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now till they are for death. Amen. We also do pray for their families, their friends, those whom they wronged, that they may be able to forgive them. And for all their prayer intentions too, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. We may have a word of prayer for all the inmates and prisoners, uh, men and women in prisons in countries all over the world. Kindly mention them now.
Glory be to God the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, and especially those in most need of thy mercies. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation of Angel Gabriel to our Blessed Virgin Mother Mary, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Glory be to God the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, and especially those in most need of thy mercies. Uh, the second joyful mystery. Our Blessed Virgin Mother Mary, visit Saint Elizabeth, our Father that in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Glory be to God the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the vice of hell, lead all souls into heaven, and especially those in most need of thy mercy. The that joyful mystery, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth the cities done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now till the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now till the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the death of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the death of our death. Amen. Glory be to God the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, and especially those in most need of thy mercies. The fourth joyful mystery. 
the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it does not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Glory be to God, the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, and especially those in most need of thy mercies. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on other cities done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and it does not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now till they are far dead. Amen. Glory be to God, the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, and especially those in most need of thy mercies. O oh, Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Saint Joseph the Walker, together with all the holy angels and saints and the archangels in heaven, pray for us. Hear, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hear our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our signs, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. May we all go back to that first bead of the first mystery of the Holy Rosary, offering all of ourselves through the intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mother Mary to the divine mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful for passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Internal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world 
For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole but internal Father. We offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Internal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Internal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. O blood and water, which he gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, we trust in you. O blood and water, which he gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, we trust in you. O blood and water, which he gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. Internal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, do kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your most holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen.
We pray holding on to the cross of the Holy Rosary and looking at the crucified Jesus who is now seated at the right hand of God the Father, we pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant to be thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mother Mary, we may learn to imitate what they contain and so obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Memory to our Blessed Virgin Mother Mary. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you do we come before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. Memory to the saint of this channel, Saint Joseph the Worker, he is the protector of our faith too. Memory, remember, O most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, my loving protector, Saint Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or asked for your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding therefore in your goodness, I come before you and humbly implore you, despise not my petitions, foster father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive them. Amen. As I have put it on the screen, the Retany of Humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, Deliver me, Jesus, that others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it that others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me to desire it, that others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, at being unknown and poor, Lord, I want to rejoice, at being deprived of the natural perfection, of body and mind, Lord, I want to rejoice. When people do not think of me, Lord, I want to rejoice. When they assign to me the meanest task, Lord, I want to rejoice. When they do not even deign to make use of me, Lord, I want to rejoice. When they never ask my opinion, Lord, I want to rejoice. When they leave me at the lowest place, Lord, I want to rejoice. When they never compliment me, Lord, I want to rejoice. When they blame me in season in, in, in season and out of season, Lord, I want to rejoice. Let us play. 
Blessed are those who suffer persecution for justice sake. Eternal Father, grant me the same mind, same love, and the same spirit of your beloved Son, Jesus, so that I may not do nothing out of selfishness or out of vain glory, but rather humbly regard others as more important than me. Look out not for my own interest but everyone's interest may i have the same attitude like that of your son jesus christ who though we ha he was in form who though he was in the form of god did not regard equality with god rather he emptied himself taking the form of a slave humbly becoming obedient to death on the cross because of this you greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name that at the name of jesus every knee in heaven on earth and under the earth should bow and every tongue confess that jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father amen Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, be humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who wander throughout the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commit me here ever this day be at my side to light and guide to rule and guard amen and in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ we do pray for all the prisoners men and women serving jail term for those years they have in the pre behind bars that he is going to visit them in their various prayer intentions trusting and believing in him amen Thank you all for coming up to this point of the rosary prayers. We still, if you still have time, you can join us in the ongoing mission to read the whole Bible. We are reading with the book of First King, chapter thirteen. So yesterday things went so bad for the children of Israelites under Jero Jehoboam. These names <laughs> under Jeroboam, under Jeroboam, and they have gone back to worshiping the calves again. They are back to worshiping the calves, and they have nothing to do with the Levites again. And remember, the children of Israel, the Levites live with them. So this is so bad. Like things are going so bad for the children of Israel. We thank you, Abba Father, as you come to join us. Please join us with Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, with the Holy Spirit. Give us wisdom and knowledge and, and understanding with today's book of First King chapter 13. A man of God came from Judah to bear there by the word of the Lord, while Jeroboam was standing at the altar to offer sacrifice. So he came from Rehoboam's place. Remember now Rehoboam is the king of Judah. Well, he cried out against the altar, the word of the Lord. Wow, he cried out against the altar, the word of the Lord. O altar, altar, the Lord says, a child shall be born to the house of David, that is Jesus, Josiah by name, who shall slaughter upon you the priests of the high places who offer sacrifice upon you, and he shall burn human bones upon you. Let's repeat that again. O altar, altar, the Lord says, a child shall be born to the house of David, Josiah by name. Who shall slaughter upon you the priest of the high places who offer sacrifice upon you, and he shall burn human bones upon you? He gave a sign that same day and said, This is the sign 
that the Lord has spoken. The altar shall break up, and the ashes on it shall be strewn about. When King Jeroboam heard what the man of God was crying out against the altar, he stretched forth his hand from the altar and said, Seize him! But the hand he stretched forth against him withered. What? <laughs> My people, let us always serve God, the true God. Let's not do these black magic things. Let's do God, the real one that Jesus gave to us. Wow. For he, like he was going to point, this Jeroboam guy was going to point this man of God to be seized, like to prison him up. But the hand he pointed the man of God with, withered, withered, like gone, so that he could not withdraw it back. Moreover, the altar broke up and the ashes from it was tuned about. The sign of the man of God had given as the word of the Lord. Then the king appealed to the man of God, Entreat the Lord your God, he said, and intercede for me that I may be able to withdraw my hand. So the man of God entreated the Lord, and the king recovered the normal use of his hand. Wow! <laughs> Come home with me for some refreshment. The king invited the man of God, and I will give you a present. If you give me half of your kingdom, the man of God said to the king, I will not go with you, nor eat bread or drink water in this place. For I was instructed by the word of the Lord not to eat bread or drink water and not to return by the way I came. So he departed by another road and did not go back the way he had come to Bethel. There was an old prophet living in the city whose sons came and told him all that the man of God had done that day in Bethel. So these ones were in that, so everything happening between Jeroboam and the man of God. And they decided to run back home to their old parent who is a prophet and to the old, to the, and they decided to run back to the old prophet and tell him what happened because they saw it what happened exactly when the withering of the hand, the hand going back to normal. When they repeated to their father, yes, it's their father, the words he had spoken to the king. So this pro old prophet is the father of these sons who saw everything happening. So the father is interested. They repeated their father to their father the words he had spoken to the king. The father asked them, which way did he go? And his sons pointed out to him the Lord taken by the man of God who had come from Judah. Then he said to his sons, Saddle the ass for me. When they had saddled it, he mounted and followed the man of God, whom he found seated under a terebinth, which he asked him, Are you the man of God who came from Judah? He answered, Yes. He Then he said, Come home with me and have some bread. I cannot go back with you. I cannot eat bread or drink water with you in this place, he answered. For I was, for I was told by the word of the Lord neither to eat bread nor drink water here and not to go back the way I came. So there's something I want you to learn about this prophet of God. He keep on saying, I was told by the word of the Lord. Have you marked that? The first thing, this guy in the came to an entrance, uh, chapter 13, um, verses 2. 
So this guy came, the man of God came and said, I, he cried out against the altar, the word of the Lord. Okay, that is the word, that is verse 2, the word of the Lord, that is number 1. Oh, it's verse 9. For I was instructed by the word of God. So verse 2, there is that part. The, this man of God spoke of, I was told by the word of the Lord. And then verse 9, he, keep, he said the same thing, by the word of the Lord. Again, the same thing he has repeated. Um, he has repeated the same, same thing after speaking to the old prophet, he has repeated the same thing, verse 17, where he says, For I was told by the word of the Lord. So let us notice chapter 13. This man of God who just came from Judah, verse 2, he said he was told, he was told by the word of the Lord. And then verse 19, he has repeated the same thing. I was instructed by the word of the Lord. Again, he has repeated the same thing verse 17 for i was told by the word of the lord three times so who is the word of the lord that is jesus that is jesus that is jesus remember in the beginning according to the book of john chapter 1 in the beginning there was the word and the word was with the lord and the word was God. So this man of God, he has quoted three times. I have been instructed by the word of the Lord. Who is the word of the Lord? That is Jesus Christ. So remember, Jesus was there all this time, but he was a word. This word that we are holding the Bible, this is Jesus' word. This is Jesus because in the beginning he was a word. Before he became fresh through the womb of our blessed Virgin Mother Mary, he was the Word. So Jesus, who was the Word during that time, is the one who sent this prophet of God. I don't know if you have understood that. That is how it is. Jesus was there. In the beginning, he was the word, the word, the word. Every time this, the prophet talks of the word, that is Jesus Christ himself. When they want to phrase the father, the father, our father, they keep on talking of God of Israel, God of Abraham. That moment they are addressing in the father stage. But when it comes to Jesus, it is the word. So Jesus was always there, but he was a word before he, before he became a fresh through the womb of our blessed virgin, Mother Mary. We go on. <laughs> wow, it's a beautiful book. Let me say that. I've never read the Bible. I'm doing it for the first time here. Like I don't even read even before coming to this place. And it's a good book. For I was told by the word of the Lord, we take over from verse 17, neither to eat bread nor drink water here and not to go back the way I came. But to say to him, I too am a prophet like you. And an angel told me in the word of the Lord to bring you back with me to my house and to have you eat bread and drink water. Of course, you know, he's lying, right? Yeah, he's lying. He was lying to him. However, we know he's lying. This guy is lying to bring this man of God back to his house. So he went back with him. No way. No, he so he went back with him and ate bread and drank water in his house. But while they were sitting at table, the Lord spoke to the prophet who had brought him back, and he cried out to the man of God who had come from Judah. The Lord says, Because you rebelled against the command of the Lord, and did not keep the command which the Lord your God gave you, but returned and ate bread and drank water in the place where he told you to do neither. 
your corpse shall not be brought to the grave of your ancestors. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Samuel said that to Saul one time. Obedience is better than sacrifice. It's good to be obedient to God. If he was told not to eat and drink in that place, why was he going back then? But anyway, this guy lied to him. Anyway, sometimes you get confused in this life. This life is so full of confusion because he can't blame him. This guy was lied to. And I think it's good to pray for everything. Like, God, if you are the one who have sent this man that I should go back against your word, give me a sign. I think that's what I would have told him to do. We go on. <laughs> I'm so surprised. Even now, people are being lied to. The things people are doing in the name of a religion, they are still being lied to. You find people are doing so funny things in the name of God. Surely, so many things happen. Like in Africa, in so many countries, you find people are doing things and they tell you it is because of God. Which God is this are you talking about? This guy was lied to the same way. After he had eaten bread and drank water, the ass was saddled for him, and he again set out. But a lion met him on the road and killed him. His corpse lay sprawled on the road, and the ass remained standing by it, and so did the lion. Some passerby saw the body lying in the road with the lion standing beside it and carried the news to the city where the old prophet lived. On hearing it, the prophet who had brought him back from his journey said, It is the man of God who rebelled against the command of the Lord. He had delivered him to a lion which mangled and killed him, as the Lord predicted to him. Then he said to his sons, Saddle the ass for me. When they had saddled it, he went off and found the body lying in the road, with the ass and the lion standing beside it. The lion had not eaten the body, nor had it harmed the ass. The prophet lifted up the body of the man of God and put it on the ass and brought it back to the city to mourn over it and to bury it. He laid the man's body in his own grave and they mourned over it because he's the one who caused it. He lied to him. He lied to him. Alas, my brother, after he had buried him, he said to his sons, When I die, bury me in the grave where the man of God is buried. Ray my remains beside his, for the word of the Lord which he proclaimed against the altar in Bethel and against all the shrines on the high places in the city of Samaria shall certainly come to pass. Jeroboam did not give up his evil ways after this event, but again made priests for the high places. These are shrines from whom, from among the common people. Now it's no longer the Levites. However, because Levites, they don't want to be involved in all this drama. No, Levites can't accept that. That's why even if you'd call for the Levites, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't go to these shrines of Jeroboam. Even the first place when the children of Israel created that molten calf. The Levites didn't go to worship that molten calf. And God knew the Levites didn't join the Israelites in worshiping the molten calf because they know God and they fear him. So he just chooses priests from common people. However, whoever desired it was consecrated and became a high priest of the high places. This was a sin on the part of the house of Jeroboam for which it was to be cut off and destroyed from the earth. The same thing happened in the desert. When they were worshipping the mountain calf, it is repeated again. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. So this is the thing now. If you know truly what you are supposed to be obedient to God for, 
Please don't sacrifice yourself. This guy chose to sacrifice instead of obedience. And there's something Samuel taught Saul, which he taught us also that obedience is better than sacrifice. So it is always to be obedient to God. Let's not just hear that. I'm oh, I'm also a prophet. You can go and eat. I'm also speaking to the angel of God. And you are like, okay, fine. You are an angel of God. You are a prophet of God. Fine, let's go. That is a sacrifice. And then there is obedience. If God told him, don't go back with the same way. Don't eat and drink anything from these people. That is obedience. So this guy chose sacrifice because... He had the prophet telling him that I've been told you come we eat together. But there was the word of the Lord which told him don't eat and drink in the same town. And this guy chose the prophet. That is a sacrifice. It's always important. If you know what God wants from us, let us do it. And if sometimes you find yourself, it is like you are failing to do the obedience of God. That's why it is very important to convert to a Catholic person. <laughs> yeah. Catholic, you are blessed. As baptized Catholics, you are blessed. We have the sacrament of confession. Make it a thing like you go once in every month. Go for the sacrament of confession once in every month. Many are the times we find ourselves in this kind of situations and you end up wondering, yes, I know I did wrong. I need to go back to God. During their time, they used to be punished with the death and pestilence and all those calamities and plagues but during our time jesus died for us he shed his blood for us for these kind of reasons that's why we have the sacrament of confession so it is important every once in a month even if it is four times in a month don't let the month come to an end without the sacrament of confession and do it truly in your truth and spirit form of spiritual and faith part of life the word of god thanks be to god we thank you about father for being part of us from prayers up to this time of the bible studies we thank you that you came with us and jesus mary and joseph with your holy spirit and with our guardian angels of this day may you bless us through christ jesus your son and may you anoint us with your holy spirit this we ask of you in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit it. Amen. Thank you all for coming. Let's meet tomorrow, God willing, for rosary prayers and the ongoing mission to read the whole Bible. Until then, be blessed.